welcome to this new Cosmic Heart Energy upgrade. Yes, this time I'm truly late. Usually on a Saturday I'm already and sharing this with you. But yes, the energies are just totally crazy, I want to say. And it's actually not so easy to get these kind of things done. And there's still so much in the movement. So this energy upgrade is not from the 12th from Saturday but from today the 14th and of course now we're going really into that full moon super full moon energy with that cardinal cross that is supporting us in all ways but it's also extremely challenging and it can be even painful for many people and so it's very important that we are understanding the whole picture and not just bits and pieces that the outer world is presenting us with the fear the anger the injustice all these kind of energies that are pushing us more down what this energy is really all about is the down part of this cardinal cross which is pluto in capricorn and as you are possibly aware because you're listening and you're aware and you're conscious of what's happening this is the last time it started in september 2nd this year and it goes out on november 19th in the topical astrology which is a base for many things it goes then on the 19th of november for 20 years into aquarius so that we have mar that we have pluto the destructor the shaker in Capricorn is really alerting us to the outdated systems, to the outdated ways of which we have lived in. So it's important that we don't get sucked into the external things that we're listening to. Doesn't mean that we shouldn't be compassionate and we shouldn't do anything, but when we get sick and feel the pain, it is like these external deconstruction and breaking mechanisms are affecting us in a wrong way because it's not about the deconstruction pushing us down and keeping our vibration low because we're also going in the full moon in Aries which means dreaming, daring to dream something new, creating. This is a new earth vibration. So we could see with this recent hurricane that the people who actually went already into the Aries uh, energy, they were able to co-create a lower impact of this hurricane. So it is important while deconstruction is really important. We have like one month left to get rid of these things internally and externally. So nobody's doing anything to us. Nobody is coming to save us. It is our work and of course in the external it sometimes looks very horrific I even want to say but please remember part of it is fear mongering so the deconstruction takes this toll and we cannot be stuck in that the deconstruction also helps happens inside and once we let go and once we break the stories of stigma and stories of suffering that is from these outdated systems, we are actually free to create. So this is the second part. But it's a cardinal cross. So from an energy perspective and from the cosmic heart perspective, we are now invited also to take a dip into Mars in Cancer. And Mars in Cancer is really inviting us to be compassionate. Yes, we need to be compassionate with what is happening, all this deconstructing of outdated systems, and most of all, the compassion for self. It doesn't mean we need to get sick. It doesn't mean we need to suffer. It gives us an opportunity to truly express this compassion. And of course, with mental health and having a big mental health month this year and me being part of a beautiful global summit, a marathon, meant to be well on October 18th and 19th, 
this is really, really important. When we don't have compassion for self and can't express that and don't feel we have permission, then life gets very difficult. So this is the next energy. So it's important that we don't focus on one thing, but that we really allow all the energies to come to us. And I have not got into details because I am not an astrologer, but I love the cosmic energies. And so finally, we have also the sun in Libra. And of course, Libra is about harmony. But what harmony? So with all this deconstruction and new ideas and dreaming a new world into being and coming into the compassion, into the heart and expressing it, we have an opportunity to create new relationships with self and with each other. So yes, ascension is really, really fully on. And whenever I have four points, and I'm not the only one, I recognize the power of the medicine wheel. In the shamanic traditions, we love medicine wheels. And these four points, funny enough, nobody orchestrated that naturally, are in a way exactly what a medicine wheel is all about. But the magic of the medicine wheel, and this is what I've been alerting you from the beginning, don't focus on one energy at the moment. Come into the center, come into the heart, and actually integrate it there. Not what somebody tells you. We don't need gurus to give us instructions. We don't need anybody to tell us what to do. We, we are here now to truly connect to our uniqueness so we can be a key to the new collective consciousness. So yes, it gets exciting. And please don't lose hope when you look at one part of this energy that is here. There's a lot of Venus energy, there's a lot of love. So we have such great opportunities at that moment. If we can see the parts and the whole. There is a beautiful theory, philosoph philosophy called hermeneutics and it has a hermeneutics si circle. And it's also, again, like a medicine wheel in a way. And the magic of it is that we're looking at the parts and the whole, just like we're doing now. We can no longer just be single-minded, rational and linear. The multi-dimensionality, the multi-beingness is really kicking in. Most of us can easily access now a sixth dimension and some of us even more if we have the courage and if we trust that it's possible. So this is the energy from October 14th and then obviously until next week, Monday. So it will be just more exciting. And so I'm inviting you today into this sound bridge. Now, you are also aware that we're having a lot of sun flares, sun storms that are causing this turbulence, if you wish, in the atmosphere, in the, in the sky, apart from the other manipulations that we are aware of. However, the sun flares and the light codes that are coming through are definitely here as well. So it is really a time to connect to them. They are, again, they're not here to destroy us. They are here to give us access to this cardinal cross energy and all the other outer planets and whoever is involved in this energy. So the destruction, deconstruction, as much as the daring to dream, as much as embracing the compassion and expressing it, as much as coming into a new relationship and into new harmony, as much as going within into the heart and truly understand what it means to us uniquely so we can start sharing it collectively. So the light language bridge today is into the cosmic heart. We've been talking about the cosmic heart for quite some time, but with these new energies, there is a new opportunity. We can tap in 
to a new frequency and this is what I want to do for us today. So this energy that we are tapping into with the light language bridge is about the energy that allows us to see the whole, allows us not to get stuck in one aspect and missing out on the whole picture and with that the potential, the possibility and the opportunity. And so let's bring it in and see what comes through today from the cosmic heart and how we can tap into these new octaves of energy that bring us consciousness, presence, but also a higher frequency, of course. So let's bring it in. To Let's just come in. Let this energy bring you in. <coughs> Tapping in to these new octaves of consciousness and of presence, to the whole and to the part. So, how does that feel for you? Love to hear. Share it in the comments. Click that subscribe button. Yes, we are open to have more in this space. What is happening in Sonko's worlds and the Sonko's, well, as I said, the focus is really on the summit. So the presentation, the keynote, and also our sound experience is almost there. Ceci does the beautification of it now, and we'll be there on the 18th. I'll put a link into the <coughs> description so you can subscribe not only subscribe but register and get a link to to enjoy it not only mine obviously it's a marathon so we are starting in the time zones of Asia based in Singapore with the people around there New Zealand Australia and Asia then the next part is Middle East Europe and Africa and then we also have a lot of people in the United States and the Americas in general. So it's really, really special. And we would love to see you there, of course. The other thing that is going on, of course, um, Sonko's World is taking that next leap. We are very clear of what we're doing and we're looking more at how. So yes, for next year, there will be dates on our online courses. There will be dates on some of the retreats so that you can enjoy in our magic of six max and of course we still do it for one to four participants our gig is to really make sure that you are taking whatever you are learning and unlearning whatever is activated and initiated whatever you are aligned to that you can truly take it home and we believe that can be promised 
and can be assured when we have a smaller group. So this is in general what's going on. So please stay tuned. And yes, there's a little tweaks here also on the YouTube channel in regards to the, the content. The music definitely stays and the Cosmic Heart upgrades are staying as well. We're looking, of course, at continuing our meditations, if possible, with Ceci. But if it's not possible, then I'll do it on my own. So for the 17th, for sure, there's a medicine wheel coming up for you. A whole meditation where you can just enjoy this amazing, amazing energy of the super full moon on the 17th. So in a nutshell, that's it. And please share with us what you are looking for. What would you like? We have a lot of um, different eclectic fields. We have the philosophy, we have self, we have conscious awakening and so much more and the music. So let us know what is for you and we're happy to bring it to you. Sending you so much love. Enjoy this energy. Enjoy this super full moon season in Aries. Focus on the whole thing. Don't get lost in just one part. From my heart to yours. <laughs>